Yes, thanks, Steve. Uh, many, many track races. I think 16 I counted. The two 5000s were held last night. That was the only action down by Lake Zurich. But uh, yes, they're coming at us thick and fast over this next three hours now. The first event on the track is the women's 400 meters. You can see the athletes out on the track and ready. The 400 has only been run in Zurich twice in the last 10 years. Somewhat bizarre that, but we have a very strong field here tonight. And there on the outside, Candice McLeod, who was fifth in Tokyo, the Jamaican. So the personal best in her semi, but has looked tired since. She was fifth in Lausanne, seventh in Paris, and then third in Chortsov in the Continental Tour meeting on Sunday. There is Conira Hayes, another finalist from Tokyo, the American. She finished in seventh place there, won the US Olympic trials, but then seventh in Tokyo was perhaps a bit of a disappointment. Sada Williams, semi-finalist in Tokyo, has never broken 50 seconds, but has been close. Second in Lausanne and second in Paris is in good form. Speaking of good form, here in lane five, Madalady Paulino of Dominica, she is in fantastic form. Second in Tokyo and has a silver medal from the mixed relay as well. In lane four, Stephanie Ann McPherson, who was fourth in Tokyo, that horrible position, but didn't run in the 4 by 400 meters at all for Jamaica. Natalia Katsumarek, well, the Olympic champion in the mixed 4 by 400 the pole. She goes in lane three, it's good lane draw, and she ran a personal best on Sunday when winning in Chortsov in Poland. She had a really great run there, 50.7. Kaylin Whitney fifth in the US Olympic trials. She ran in the uh, heat of the Olympic 4x4, therefore has a gold medal. She didn't run in the final. And Lika Klava goes on the inside, semi-finalist in Tokyo. She was uh, sixth in the 4x400 with that uh, Dutch squad. She actually ran 50.63 out of the blocks for the first leg of the Dutch for the Dutch squad. That was uh, pretty brilliant, and it's uh, considerably quicker than her official personal best. So uh, this meeting has such rich heritage. Many of the meeting records go back many, many years. And Yamila Kratochvilova, back in 1982, ran 48.86. That is the meeting record. Klava in one, Kaylin Whitney in two for the USA. The pole card tomorrow, actually is in good form. She goes in three, McPherson four, Paulino, the Olympic silver medalist in five there, Williams six, Hayes seven, McLeod in lane eight. Now, Paulino's form has been such that she should be able to win this one. She's second quickest in the world this year behind Shawnee Miller-Webo. But perhaps who's gone off the quickest is Conera Hayes out in lane seven. There is Paulino left of picture inside her is McPherson. The Tokyo fourth placer has the Olympic silver medalist in her sights there. And they round the bend. Aggressive running from Klaver in lane one. She's really giving it a go, isn't she, with these tight bends to contend with still. Kanira Hayes probably leading marginally as they come off the uh, second bend. The American in seven. But as they enter the straight, there's four of them in it side by side. And still good running from Klaver over in lane one. But still, it's Kanira Hayes who's easing clear or staying clear. Here comes Paulino, though. She always has a strong finish. She's not going to get there on this occasion, though. What a run from Kanira Hayes. All the big names inside. Well, she saves her best till last, so to speak. That is a big, big win. 49.88. It is uh, only a tenth of a second or so outside her lifetime best. Paulino, 49.96. Those times confirmed. And Sarah Williams, 50.24 in third for Barbados. Great race. I mean, you don't often get four coming into the straight side by side like that with 100 to go. And they really had to battle for it. And all credit, Steve, to Canera Hayes for keeping Paulino at bay. Paulino has been in such fabulous form. Big wins in Paris with 50.4 and uh, in Lausanne with 50.4 rather and in Paris with 50.1 just uh, 10 days ago. Hayes there living up to uh, the reputation you'd expect at some degree as the US champion. I guess so, but you know, I, I think we should reiterate, uh, Tim, I don't know if you mentioned it, but any winner tonight, we've got one here, is a guaranteed place at the World Championships next year. So you can see why she was battling so hard. This isn't just to win the Diamond League race, and it's one of the you know, big wins of her career to win this title, and ahead of Paulino, threw herself at the line there. But this will mean so much of a come next year. It will, of course, mean America could have four uh, athletes in the 400 meters, women's 400 meters, 
because Hayes now qualifies automatically and won't have to go through the what would undoubtedly be a tough US trial next year. So yeah, great running from her. I thought when they came in the home straight there that she might just get swallowed up by the others, but no, stayed strong. Look at that, just, just driving her arms forward, keeping focused and knowing or trusting her arms and legs, keep those night knees driving up. And just about enough, Paulino threw herself at the line. You're right, Tim, she normally finishes perhaps a little bit more strongly than that. But well done, Quinera Hayes. What was impressive, Steve, was the lack of strain on those features over those last 20 metres or so. It's confirmed then, Hayes the winner here at the Diamond League final. 49.88 along with Paulino behind her, under 50 seconds. Well, so many Olympic champions on show.